honoring a fallen police canine through art. In January, police say a suspect shot and killed Omaha canine Cobus during a standoff. One man is making sure that Cobus's memory lives on. It's a story you'll only see on 3. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore has the tribute. At attention, ready to serve. All the police officers and firefighters that risked their lives. Is how sculptor David Beale wants others to remember canine officer Cobus. I thought it was something that it would be nice to capture. The clay sculpture carries the likeness of the nine year old Belgian Malinois, whose last mission embodied his calling, protecting the lives of law enforcement. On a cold January day during a marathon standoff, the canine unit sent him inside this home where a suspect shot him. The loss, unimaginable for his handler, Matt McKinney, was also felt by the community as seen during the funeral. With all of the media coverage, Bill says he had to do something. I decided to go ahead and donate my time and materials to produce a life-size sculpture of Cobus and uh, was just looking for somebody to fund it. So he poured over pictures of Cobus. I also went out to the area where they train the dogs to see the, the Belgian Shepherds and to just get an idea and a feel for their size and thickness. Bill says he spent nearly 70 hours working on what's seen here. Then the project came to a halt for weeks. All it needed was the bronze pour. The cost? Up to $7,500. And just like life, when you least expect it, Bill got a break. We had an anonymous donor step up with a $7,000 commitment, so we're on our way. Bill expects to complete the project by spring. Right now, location details are in the works. My uh, hope would be that um, they would first of all remember uh, Cobus. The project? A parallel example of a mission. Follow through despite any hurdles. Shante Passmore, KMTV Action 3 News.